Today's video in the Know Your Plugin series, we'll be looking at a DSA. A DSA is a plugin that helps to eliminate excess sibilance. Sibilance means the sounds we get from our S and our T. So whenever someone's singing and they do something that sound with an S or a T, the SR helps us reduce the sound. So this is a very simple plugin in BandLab and it have two parameters that's frequency and threshold we're going to be looking at how this can help you make better music now i have this vocal sample right here which we'll be using for this exercise so we will listen to the vocal how it sounds before and after the DS is being applied. I remember your smile now it's gone away. I remember your touch but it couldn't stay. I remember your love lost and gone astray. I remember your smile now it's gone away. I remember your touch but it couldn't stay. I remember your love lost and gone astray. Can clearly hear right there the sound that this is producing. At first, you see that the S sounds and T sounds seem to get harsher as we try to boost clarity from the high ends. So the S plugin was just right there trying to reduce the sibilance so next we look at the two parameters of the answer so we can understand them more know when to use them and how to use them to get the DSA we search for SA now the ESA plugin is installed and it can help us remove a whole lot of harshness. Now, whenever you put in your DS, uh, for me, I first of all listen to the frequency that the S sound is coming from. To do that, you just click play and listen with your ears and find where those S sounds are so you can start reducing them. I remember your smile now it's gone away. I remember your touch but it couldn't stay. I remember your love lost and gone astray. Mostly the S sound are in 5k, 6k hertz. That's where it is. But in some cases, due to the plugin on mic, we can have it higher or lower. Now, the second frequency says threshold. 
and the threshold is simply asking you how much reduction do we want for this s sound so right here is minus 19 this means we should minus 19 decibels from every s c p's and b's sound if you take this higher that means you don't want more of the SO on the vocal or on the signal. SOs are mostly used for vocal. Now we will play again, and what we do is we we'll leave this threshold at zero decibels and we start bringing it close to the point where we can no more hear the vocal. And when we reach the point where we can no more hear the vocal, we can then bring it a little bit up to a place where the vocal is now clear and the S sound is now reduced. I remember your smile now it's gone away. I remember your touch, but it couldn't stay. I remember your love lost and gone astray. So at this point, you can hardly hear the vocal. So we start increasing it to a point where we can now hear the vocal. I remember your smile, now it's gone away. I remember your touch, but it couldn't stay. I remember your love lost and gone astray. For me, I think that's okay. And... If you have any questions, please make sure you put it in the comment section. And also, don't forget to tell me which plugin you want to see next in this series. Please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want someone to help you mix your music, you can contact me using my whatsapp number on the description of this video if you want to learn everything about bandlab you can message me using my number on the description of this video to get my full course on how to make pro music with bandlab so we see you again next time peace